Good day, people. You're watching CIN reports on Citizens Information Network. As at 8:41 p.m. on Saturday evening, a commuter boat conveying 21 passengers capsized in Jeddah waters, and as it is, 18 people were reported dead and three people survived the incident. As at the time of filing the report, 16 bodies have been recovered from the waters and two are yet to be recovered. Our correspondent, Padmas Olatunji, was at the scene of the incident to speak with some respondents and this is what I have to say. What actually happened is the boat incident happened on Saturday night as it seemed one of the victims that escaped in the accident told me it happened at 8.41 okay. p.m. in the night okay. and three people escaped and they lost, the, he told me it's 21, there are 21 in the boat but the average uh, people that are supposed to enter the boat is like 12. 12? Yes, and the um, boat driver Pick up like uh, 21 passengers, uh, 60 okay. years uh, power. power. Wow, wow. That's the uh, engine capacity. So what is your relationship with the survivor? With the survivor, uh, two of them are my friends. They are your friends. Uh, Do you know where they live right now? Yes, I you know, know where they, they are. Yes. Can we reach them? Uh, one of you two work. One okay. is not around now. Okay. So they are not around now. Um, like so far so good. How has the government? How has the, the government response been to this? Uh, the day the incident occurred, the second day, which is that Sunday, the Lassema people are here. Okay. And yesterday, one of the Ministry of Health came to pick one to Moshua. Okay. And they are responding. Okay. They are responding. Exactly. And even we should thank the chairman of the local government. Okay. Yes, he has been trying so much since the incident happened. The incident has occurred the Saturday night. And we should thank the other jetty there, the other uh, water operator, which is Tazan Jetty. Okay. He has really impressed the, okay. the, the entire village. Okay. As in, they have been showing, and another one there, uh, Bakers, okay. they are already showing their. Okay, okay. What, what did you think is actually, will actually be the cause of this incident? They actually, uh, what really happened that caused this incident is. Is, as in the, how, how am I going to say it? The, their management, yeah, they are not serious. The boat is not okay, so and it's overload, and they didn't have life jackets. Okay. All the passengers the did not put on life jackets, so and that what causes the incident. So many things have been said, but there has never been somebody who will be able to give the accurate figure about the people that are actually involved in this accident. This occurred during the weekend, and up to this moment, the, um, the emergency response unit are still making efforts to get the dead body out of the water. From the situation I saw here, I can tell you that the Lassema unit they were mounted outside. What is their effort to bring out this dead body from the water is what I don't know. Uh, as you can see inside the place, you can't see the press. You can hardly find the presence of the Lassema here. So um, speaking with one of the family of the victims, we learned that the, bar, the chairman, the chairman of this local government, and uh, some other life mines have been the one donating fuel to the fishermen. Which the, chief, uh, the, the fishermen, chief. yeah, the chiefs, the chief was actually involved as well. So they were donating fuel to the fishermen, and the fishermen are actually using their boats to rescue, um, to bring to bring out these um, dead bodies from the water, which is very very sad. I mean, there should be other several measures, other good measures to get these dead bodies out, which will be very swift or faster by the government. But I don't know what is actually happening. And as a matter of fact, the main incident of this accident, the main cause of this incident um, has never been revealed. Yeah, we still have speculation regarding the cause of the incident and the numbers of the dead bodies. But trust us, like we do, what we do here is bringing the information gap.